out here in the desert where everything's sort of stripped from you, where you're placed in a, a situation where the, you know, the environment is bigger than you are, that you really don't have control. I think it makes the interactions just all the more meaningful. I think it makes everything that happens out here all the more meaningful. Well, we are that last line of the default world saying, these are the rules that help create this bubble, this experiment that everybody's gonna go do. That's what we're doing there is saying, these are some rules that everybody's agreed that they're gonna abide by so that that, that experiment can happen. Everything beyond that line is different. It's the first step to people decompressing. It's the first step to people um, leaving their, their other selves behind. We're here to get people safely into the city um, in accordance with a very strict set of rules that are set down by the, the BOM so that we can get the land permit. Um, we have to search the vehicles. They don't, some people don't like that. Most people are just resigned to it. But we're trying to pe teach people to be um, as participant oriented as they can be. We take it seriously and we need an army of volunteers in order to make this happen. Cool. So two people in the car, two tickets, awesome. And can you have just have a quick look in the back? That would be great. One of the tricky things about GATE is that we, we sort of have um, a culture here. Um, it's important for us to understand what the job is and what it is not. So we're not the you know, happy greeters that, you know, whose job it is to orient everybody. We have to do the more serious part of the job. And so we're out there outside of the city, even the greeters which are inside of us, where you come up and there's naked happy dancing people and you roll in the dust and ring the bell. That's not us. last people that act like the default world and that we're facing outward right we don't spend a lot of time looking back at the city when we're doing that we're looking outward at you um, and we're trying to get um, the participants that are coming in uh, into the city as smoothly as possible and keeping out people that don't want to all play by the same rules that we've all agreed to do here we're doing this job so it gets you know people in in the right way and sort of protect the event from those forces. The gate is a living, breathing thing. It morphs each year. It's different each year. We try to improve it each year, fine tune what works and retool what doesn't. This is a very sort of pick it up by your bootstraps and do it yourself. Um, if we figure out something we need, we just do it. Um, and that's really, really interesting. It's a very different way to do things than in my regular world. And just having people really, really be focused on one another and take care of each other, um, which we do in this, in this group. People really watch your back. They watch out for you, whether you're on shift or off shift. When you come here and you work hard, you play hard, you develop these bonds, and uh, just as difficult as it is for participants to deal with dust and everything, with us it's even a little bit more intense because we've got a job to do and we can't just sit out the dust storm, we work through it. But that all builds a sense of camaraderie and a sense of family, a true family. I am so proud to be part of this department and I am just amazed at the amount of time and energy and everything that our crew puts forward. I mean, every year I'm just blown away and touched. They're doing it from the heart with no motive at all. No motive but just to give. And I think if more people had that experience, I think the world might even shift a little. A little kinder. Yeah. Kinder, gentler world. Ooh, said from a gate person. Don't let that get out. <laughs> <laughs>